Well, hello! Welcome to my new video. I'm Victoria. This week's video is going to be a no spend fridge freezer pantry challenge. So the idea behind is that uh, I just came back from Hungary, from back home from my family on the 2nd of January in the afternoon, which is a Sunday. And uh, I brought a couple of stuff from there, but not too much. I didn't do any grocery shopping in the past days. Uh, before I left, I also just left the apartment as it was. I didn't stock my pantry, fridge or freezer. <laughs> Uh, if anything, I try to use up everything that would not last two weeks <laughs> because I was away for almost that long. And uh, yeah, I wrote a couple of stuff from Hungary, mostly uh, already ready meals and a couple of vegetables with me, but I didn't do any other preparation for this challenge. And the plan is basically to not spend any money on groceries, at least for a week. Let's see how long I can I can go. Um, it might be only four days, <laughs> depending on how creative I can get and what meals I will be able to prepare in the next days. So, um, as I mentioned, without any preparation, without any stocking up, just using what I currently have in the freezer, the fridge and the pantry, that is what I'm allowed to use during this challenge. And it's a no spend challenge. I don't necessarily have to use up everything. Uh, however, I can pick up free food um, if that's available. Uh, might not be. It depends on my luck, <laughs> I guess. We will see. In the coming days, there are a few options that I could consider. And yeah. That's the premise of this video. I hope this is something interesting to you. I will now show you the current state of the fridge, freezer and pantry in my kitchen so that you know what I'm starting with and at the end you will see um, what I'm left with and in between you will see what I had for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So you might see some recipes as well and to, you will see what I cooked and prepared for myself for a week. This challenge is just for one person and I don't know how long this challenge will continue. I hope for a week, but you will see. <laughs> Let's jump in. Let's check what's in my fridge <laughs> and freezer and pantry that I want to go through. <clears throat> so I have, well, of course I have um, almond milk, which I have quite a few. Uh, also not in the freezer or in the fridge. I have some homemade meals that I will finish probably today for lunch and dinner. <clears throat> then I have um, some grana padano cheese. I have a little bit of orange juice. I have a yogurt. In this I have, well, exactly what's uh, on the box, uh, this cheese, uh, except that uh, it's a different brand. I just store it inside and I already have a plan with it. I have some cookies, very good ones. I really like them. Then I have a, a huge piece of pumpkin that I also have some plans with. Then I have some uh, butter and some marmalade and so yeah not so much food here um, here i have uh, celery sticks here i have a uh, said lime <laughs> and yeah up here i have some lime and lemon and then i have my condiments i still have those oils from the declutter actually it's more now <laughs> than it was before because i have one more year um, i have my alcohol which i'm not drinking this month uh, yeah, and that's it. That's the fridge. And then the freezer. You have not seen this before. Well, here I just have vegetables. In here I have vegetable scraps. Well, that's empty from which I usually, well, I collect it. When it's full, I make vegetable broth. And then I have some uh, broccoli. I have some other vegetables and frozen fruits. And yeah, like I have paprika. I uh, yeah, I'm not 
quite sure exactly but like i have frozen bananas in here and some other veggies um here well this is actually my bio trash which i'm collecting here i have ice not very useful i have more vegetables what is this oh um what are these called these gar garnelon then i have a pizza down there it's quite a small one then i have peas i have a lot of peas because last time i thought i don't have peas so i bought another one and then it turned out i have peas so gotta make pea soup i guess oh that's a good idea i have to write that down then here well i have ice cream <laughs> and bread and some of the vegetable broth that i made last time and then I have some, I think this is frozen raspberries. Yeah, not so much like real food. <laughs> A little bit of bread. <laughs> then um, I have some fruits, not much. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the worst because I eat fruits almost every day. Well, every day. And I only have this many. <laughs> so I have to stretch that as much as possible. Then here um i have corn i have beans i have lentils i have coconut milk i have tomatoes i have olives i have uh, dried tomatoes i have mustard horseradish i have the dry onions I have lentils, dry lentils, and breadcrumbs, and quinoa, and some kind of seeds and stuff like that. I have more um, beans, I have a bit of flour, well actually that flour is full so that's good. This is also flour, I have... Um, well, I have chickpeas in that one and in this one this is the soybeans. I really should do something with the soybeans. And I have rice and uh, I can't remember the name of this uh, in English. I will put it on the screen. <laughs> ah, and here I have some pasta, like uh, rice, rice uh, noodles. Both, both of them are, well, one of them is rice noodle and the other one is me noodle whatever that is i mean that is not made of rice i guess <clears throat> so as i said i have more milk i have granola in here still from the kitchen organization it's still there i have coffee that's not peanut butter but I, that is peanut butter the second one this one is my chili more coffee well i definitely won't run out of coffee anytime soon then i have my breakfast stuff i have oats and then more oats back there so that's good i have flax seeds cacao i have um, syrup date syrup uh, maple syrup my vitamins my teas well i won't run out of these anytime soon then and here i have like kind of like a nutella kind of and some uh, nuts and seeds and yeah i also should do something with these dates actually i need to write down these ideas and here i have my snacks chocolates and dun snacks uh, there <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna open that that's anyway that's not really like real food that's just snacks anyway so yeah that, that's it that's what i'm trying to use up um and let's see how long it can last so first morning for breakfast i'm going to make porridge with obviously oats almond milk uh, some cashew butter i have some helium seed husk <laughs> if the translation is correct um, then i have some cacao powder and some flax seed ground up and honey so i'm gonna just mix these up in here cook it a little bit and have breakfast here is my breakfast first morning first breakfast of the challenge um, I realized that it's a very um, beige 
slash brown breakfast. <laughs> Looks a bit boring, but um, yeah, well, hopefully I won't eat this the whole time. <laughs> um, this is my porridge and this is a grain coffee that I made from like an instant powder that I have. So I'm gonna eat this now. It is 11.27 on the first day and I'm going to snack on this orange and then very soon I'm pretty sure I'm gonna eat lunch so I will be back. It is lunch time on day one and I'm going to eat the lentil soup that I have prepared two days ago. I think this is gonna be enough for two meals. So I'm gonna heat it up and see you when it's uh, ready to be eaten. So the lunch is ready, my Moroccan lentil soup from two days ago and I still have probably more than one whole portion left. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat this for lunch. Bon appetit! As my afternoon snack, I'm currently heating up this small portion of cottage cheese balls. So this is a Hungarian cuisine and my mom made it and it doesn't look like balls at all. They kind of fell apart unfortunately. But um, yeah, it's kind of my afternoon snack and it's uh, I'm going to eat it with some, well it's not this John mustard which is inside but it's a homemade marmalade that my mom made. So I'm gonna eat the cottage cheese balls with this one and yeah, and I will be back with my dinner, which is gonna be probably the same as my lunch, the lentil soup. For the last meal of the day, we continue our tradition of day one and uh, we are eating uh, a brown meal. <laughs> and this is um, the last of the lentil soup that I also had for lunch. So this is it this uh, with this i finished all the leftover pre-made food so tomorrow i will have to start cooking and coming up with meal ideas so i'm gonna eat this now uh, for dinner and see you tomorrow hey good morning i just made my breakfast on the second day of a uh, of my pantry challenge and we are continuing on the same topic as we finished yesterday because uh, the meals that I made are brown again. <laughs> as you can see here um, I made my coffee and I made an overnight oats uh, in this old peanut butter jar. Well, it's not, not old, but uh, it was already uh, finished and there was some leftover on the sides and on the bottom. So I decided to make my overnight oats in it so that I can scrape out the leftover peanut butter with it. And um, what do I have in here? I have goji berries. I have flaxseed, I have filius seeds, I have oats, I have the peanut butter leftover, um, I put a little bit of date syrup and if it's not sweet enough I'm going to put a bit of honey as well. So guys I am ready to start making my lunch which is gonna be baked pumpkins and baked sweet potatoes with olives and uh, not feta cheese but this other cheese that I have this um, goat cheese I believe um, and it's gonna be yeah just spicing it up a little I will show you the end result but basically it's with a little bit of cheese some olives and the uh, baked uh, veggies uh, and then since I'm gonna turn on the oven I am also going to make a baked oatmeal, which is gonna be for snack in the upcoming days plus for breakfast tomorrow. For this I already prepared the ingredients, coconut, um, sugar, um, maple syrup, baking powder, vanilla extract, coconut oil, cinnamon, flax seeds, um, nutmeg, salt, oats, almond milk, pecans, walnuts and in here I ground up some cloves as well to go in that and I'm gonna make it also from the um, 
pumpkin. Originally it's a sweet potato baked oatmeal recipe, but I'm gonna make it with the pumpkin rather, since I have such a huge piece <laughs> that I should finish soon. So yeah, I'm gonna work on that and I will show you the end result. So this is the current situation. The pumpkins and the sweet potatoes are ready to go into the oven and I also uh, boiled some of the pumpkin and I'm going to make a puree out of it for the baked oatmeal. So this one is going in. And then we will continue with the baked oatmeal. So this is how the baked oatmeal looks like before it's going into the oven. And since the pumpkin and the potatoes are practically done, I kind of missed my opportunity, but I'm gonna put this on and leave it on, uh, leave it in for a couple of seconds until this melts a little bit. So this is some cheese with some uh, oregano, uh, basil, um, rosemary and some Kalamata olives. So my lunch looks like this. This is the final version. As I said, it's uh, pumpkin, sweet potatoes, Kalamata olives and some cheese. It could be feta cheese, it could be goat cheese, um, yeah, <coughs> white cheese. You could also put some dried tomatoes as well. And today I didn't do that. Hi guys, so today I'm not uh, feeling actually very well the whole day because I got my uh, booster vaccine yesterday and yeah, last time it was even worse but this time I'm just very tired, I had a headache, uh, I had pain in my shoulder uh, and I was not motivated to do anything but I was also not, uh, yeah, not hungry that much during the day so I ended up uh, not eating that much but um, I'm still going to eat dinner but only the leftovers from lunch and uh, and I'm just gonna show you what I was snacking in between uh, yeah and I will show you the end result of the baking this is how the uh, baked oatmeal looks like uh, after being baked um, I have not yet tried it as you can see uh, I can link the recipe below as I mentioned the original recipe is with um, sweet potatoes and this one I made it with uh, pumpkin instead. It smells good, it looks good, it's good. <laughs> and then for dinner I'm just gonna eat these leftovers, only some pumpkins and cheese, I'm gonna add some more olives to it probably. And in between I was snacking on some chestnuts, this is almost empty, I ate probably half of it already. And I was snacking on this uh, cheese um, sticks that my mom made for new year's eve and i only have like these four left i might finish all these today since this dinner is not much but i'm also not so hungry so yeah that's it for today for day two there is a uh, one more problem um i was planning to go to pick up some food from these uh, food sharing um, locations where people can leave uh, food and then other people can just take them for free. And there is one right next to me, um, the next building. However, um, it, is in a, it is in a school and the school is actually closed until the 6th. And they say that it will be it will open after the sixth, but I, but the seventh is um, Friday, so I'm not sure if anything will happen to the fridge there and to the location where, where people can uh, drop off food. Probably it won't be used on Friday, and then um, yeah, I, I won't be able to pick up anything. There is another one a little bit further away, which seems to be functioning. Um, so I might try tomorrow because I still have some recipe ideas with the foods that I have uh, available at home but it's not more than one or two more days um, that I can fill up with the available food items and then after that I would need to get some food and tomorrow is still a work day however Thursday is a holiday so uh, if I want to get something I better get it tomorrow. <laughs> So yeah, um, this is the end of day two. 
Uh, thank you uh, for <laughs> tagging along and yeah, uh, I keep you updated uh, tomorrow about uh, the challenge. Good morning guys, this is the morning of day three of my no spent challenge on groceries and I'm going to eat, well, let me just show you. <laughs> I am going to eat the baked oatmeal that I made yesterday and my usual grain coffee in the morning with some coconut milk. So guys, it is 10.30 right now and I'm going to eat a snack and this is two apples grated. And I don't know if you knew, but uh, grated apples taste better than whole apples. I don't know if um, there is a scientific explanation for that, but I uh, recommend you to try. <laughs> For lunch I just made a pizza which looks like this. I added some olives and some and the leftover of that uh, white cheese, mm, goat cheese, whatever it is um, on top. Uh, actually originally this pizza is a vegan Mediterranean, Mediterranean grilled vegetable pizza. Looks like this and it was on sale that's why I got it. Um, yeah, and since I had the oven on, I also baked the left of the potatoes from yesterday because I didn't fit all of them in at once. And since the oven is on, I'm going to also put in a batch of my granola because I am very low on my granola. So, yeah, cooking with a lot of oats today and, well, also since the past days and a lot of... Pumpkin, I am kind of fed up already. <laughs> so I have just been to this um, food saver location where you can pick up food that people bring there that they either save from supermarkets uh, through a program, this food saving program, or um, yeah, you can also bring your own stuff that you're from home that you know that you won't finish. So I brought the leftover of the pumpkin there because I have enough. I had enough pumpkin in the past days. Before the video, I also had a pumpkin risotto. I also had a pumpkin uh, soup, so I didn't want to eat more pumpkin. And in exchange, I picked up a hummus, um, which has expired two days ago. Looks good, should be good. Two yogurts, which have expired yesterday. One of them I'm definitely gonna eat tomorrow with the granola for breakfast. The other one, whenever I feel like eating a yogurt. And I picked up a salad, which I will eat with my dinner slash lunch in the upcoming two days. I am about to make um, dinner on day three and it's gonna be a, a celery cream soup. So I have the celery, I have some potatoes, I have some parsley, pepper, salt, onion, garlic uh, and I'm gonna make vegetable broth from this. Um, and on the side I'm gonna have some uh, protein bread that I had in the freezer. This is protein bread from uh, Interspar on, or from Spar and I really do enjoy this. I really do like it and I'm gonna make yeah like a mixture with garlic and butter and put on top. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna have on the side or I might put some hummus on one or two of these um, and heat that after I had the soup. Here you go the celery cream soup. Uh, I'm gonna link it, link the recipe down below and uh, some garlic butter toast on the side. Good morning. We start day four with the yogurt that I picked up yesterday for free from food sharing and some granola, homemade granola and my grain coffee. It's very early. I'm gonna eat now. See you later. We are back with lunch on day four. The lunch is the same as I had for dinner. So the celery cream soup with the toasted or with the two toasts um, with garlic butter on them. And then I might eat uh, for dessert a piece of um, uh, baked 
oats. I also had a piece yesterday in the evening for dessert. I didn't video that. And I also ate an orange a couple of hours ago that I didn't document, so. So I'm already getting ready for dinner. I am boiling up some uh, kidney beans here. Uh, they will need a couple of more minutes. <laughs> I don't know how long, but they are still pretty hard. In the meantime, I also prepared a snack for myself. I had um, this much leftover from um, some popcorn in the cupboard and I wanted to use it up. So I made a dessert. <laughs> or like a snack, <laughs> not a dessert. So I'm just gonna snack on this one while the um, beans are getting ready because I'm making chili sin carne. So I already started to um, to prepare the onions but then I realized that the, the beans are still very hard so I'm gonna have to wait and I already prepared all the other ingredients. I don't have carrots but I'm gonna put celery instead. I'm gonna put some paprika, bell peppers, um, garlic, corn, the spices, and tomatoes. Um, and hopefully it will be good. And I think I'm gonna actually make some pasta to go with it. Because... Yeah, usually I eat uh, chili with rice or couscous or something which I could also make, but I feel like maybe with, I, I want to try it with pasta. So I'm, I have this, whatever it's called, these tiny little cute things, and I think I'm gonna boil those up. Yeah, that's gonna be for dinner, but for now I'm just gonna <laughs> snack on the popcorn because I'm waiting for the kidney beans. Here it is, the chili sin carne with the pasta below it. <laughs> so I have this much of the chili and I have still more pasta so it's at least two or three more portions and I still have some of the of the soup from yesterday that I made yesterday so I believe I'm good for the next <laughs> one to well at least one if not two days and then I will have to think about getting some food from somewhere <laughs> because I don't have any fresh produce or anything like that anymore. Um, so I'm not sure if I shouldn't go shopping anytime soon. <laughs> we'll think about it. There are still some stuff in the freezer, but I'm not sure I can put them together into one meal. Good morning, guys. This is day five and we are continuing with our no spend pantry fridge challenge. Um, I already prepared my breakfast, so I'm just gonna show you. So my usual grain coffee. I still have some of the baked porridge, baked oatmeal, and I'm gonna have one of, well, the second yogurt with my porridge. Yesterday the yogurt was really, really sweet. So this is a lemon yogurt, so I'm hoping this won't be that sweet. <laughs> yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> I just realized the day five is not so exciting because I still have leftovers of the celery cream soup and I still have leftovers of the beans, of the chili. So I'm gonna eat the chili for lunch and I still have one more portion of the chili left. <laughs> it's dinner time and I'm going to eat the last of the celery cream soup and after that I am defrosting currently these last three pieces of the protein bread and I'm going to put hummus on them the hummus that I picked up from the food sharing location and today I went back and I picked up a cucumber and the paprika so Remember this salad that I picked up two days ago? Um, I made a salad with it, uh, with the paprikas, the cucumber, and I added the last apple that I had in it too. So I'm gonna eat this with the bread. Good morning. It's day six and we are still going strong. Um, the breakfast is kind of boring though because I have <laughs> the same thing 
what I had in the past days. I still have more of the baked oatmeal and my usual grain coffee. Hey guys, so day six is not so very interesting because actually for lunch I went out uh, to meet a friend for brunch actually and we were eating in a, in a cafe and then now for dinner I'm just gonna have leftovers because uh, I was out and about in the city the whole day and I am very hungry right now and I don't really have time to prepare anything so I'm gonna finish the chili sin carne and then I'm gonna eat some of the baked oatmeal because I still have at least two portions <laughs> and I really should finish it so I'm gonna do that and then tomorrow I will be cooking again Sorry for the noise, my uh, dishwasher is on right now and I decided to put some ice cream on the side of my baked oatmeal. I mean, I don't really know if this is a good combination, but I'm gonna give it a try and uh, if you have not tried this one, I am a sucker for salted caramel. This is the best and I just opened this one. It's, unfortunately it's quite pricey so this year I might not be eating it too much only on special occasions and <laughs> tonight is not a special occasion but well here you go my dessert for day six good morning this is uh, day seven so we did almost completed one uh, whole week of the challenge and I'm confident that I could do I mean today is pretty okay and I'm confident that I could do maybe one more day but let's see how it goes <laughs> so this morning I am just trying to finish up the vegetables that I picked up for free from the food sharing location so this is just a salad with the cucumbers paprika and the salad leaves and I have two toasts with hummus on it and my usual green coffee. I am about to start making lunch. I am preparing a noodle soup with some things that I still have left over. This is my last onion. Actually I have one piece in the fridge. I have to use it up. Some potatoes, garlic, these various noodle types that I found in my pantry. I found some frozen broccoli. I found a mixed uh, frozen mixed vegetable mix which has mostly uh, peas but also a little bit of carrots and a little bit of um, cauliflower and I also have some more frozen peas to add and I am trying to um, tow out some vegetable broth that I had in the freezer, sesame seeds cinnamon, star anise, black pepper, white pepper, salt, soy sauce, I didn't prepare those, I don't need salt because soy sauce is salt enough and while I'm going to prepare this I'm gonna snack on the last two pieces of this very tasty delicious cookies that I still have had in the fridge. This is the finished product, this is how the noodle soup looks like you probably can't even see the noodles. There they are. <laughs> so yeah, just veggies and noodles. So there's no protein in this, so I might have to make my uh, soybean dal, soybean curry very soon after this <laughs> to not stay hungry. I am making for, or as a snack, some banana ice cream. I had frozen bananas in my in my freezer and I'm making over half of it I guess for this meal with some coconut milk and some vanilla extract. So at the end of day 7, Sunday evening, I am positive that I just reached the low point of my challenge because I'm literally eating beans with rice. <laughs> So this is supposed to be a soybean curry and these soybeans take forever to cook. They are still hard, but I couldn't. I, I couldn't wait any longer. I'm super hungry. So I'm just gonna eat this one. I still have some of the soup though. So yeah, 
for some extra flavor after this i might eat some of that soup <laughs> good morning we have a bonus day today since i still have actually meals ready i could probably go this one more day without uh, buying anything but today i'm gonna head to the grocery store to get ready for the next days because i'm not sure i could feed myself tomorrow i would probably have enough breakfast for one more week <laughs> breakfast food breakfast food because i have a lot of oats well not so much anymore but i still have oats <laughs> and i'm in fact making porridge right now I found some frozen blueberries in the freezer, so I used that. I put some of uh, the cashew uh, butter. I put some date syrup. I put some uh, flax seeds, ground flax seeds and cinnamon. Hey ho! So it is lunchtime on uh, Monday the 10th of January. I haven't been to a grocery store this year yet. Well, this is not true because I just came back from the grocery store. <laughs> so today was the first time when I went to the grocery store. Uh, and I just want to show you before I unpack the groceries that I got, I would like to show you the result of the past eight days when I was trying to finish things from the fridge, the freezer, the pantry. So let's just uh, go through what I still have left uh, after not going shopping for a week and doing this challenge. First of all, the fridge. So in the fridge I have um, almond milk. This is the third one that I opened since I came back from Hungary on the 3rd of January. But I just opened it today. Um, this is vegetable broth because I yeah I didn't thaw on time so I didn't put it in the soup that I made yesterday. I have a little piece left from the baked oatmeal. I still have very little in this butter. I have this grana padano still a piece. I have half an onion. Actually there is one more piece here so almost a whole onion um, I have this hummus that I picked up for free last week I have maybe half of it still I have the olives that I ate most of it but I still have some leftover I have some marmalade I have some flax seeds ground up curry paste I didn't touch that one I have ghee I didn't touch that one I'm gonna throw this one out now because it's very sad and I'm also going to throw these ones out because I, yeah, I just used the juice from them. Here, nothing has changed. Then I already prepared because uh, I'm going to eat lunch right after this. I'm, uh, I have this much of the soup left that I made yesterday. These are the soybeans and the rice and the rice noodles. With the beans and the rice, since yesterday it was quite boring to eat just beans and rice, I'm going to make a salad on the side. And I bought in the supermarket this uh, veg vegan meat replacement kind of thing. So I'm just gonna fry it up uh, in addition to make it a bit more exciting. It was 25% off. Then um, here, I mean, I still have quite a few things. I didn't manage to eat this one. This is a challenge for the upcoming days to finish that. I have coconut milk. I have some beans and lentils, vegan mayonnaise, dry tomatoes. I still have the, the mustard and the horseradish, the fried onions. I have a cooking cream here. Nothing has changed. I used, I didn't really use these things. I used a little bit of the sesame seeds and I'm gonna use that for my lunch actually. And up there, not much has changed. I used up something in here. Was this empty before? I'm not sure. Why is it stuck there? I need to clean this out. Uh, I used some of the soybeans, I used some of the rice, 
I need to refill the rice. I need to get some more rice. I still have these noodles. And yeah. And from here, from the breakfast items, I used a lot of the oats, but I don't think I used up anything else. Like the snacks are still there. I opened them, some of them. I was snacking on some of them. I made my granola, but uh, everything else that was here is still there. I just used from the existing one, but I don't think I finished anything. I'm not sure. And I almost forgot the freezer. So in the freezer I had on the top shelf a lot of uh, fr frozen vegetables. Uh, we, I had some of the broccoli. I still have some uh, strawberries. I had some of the peas. This box, you know, uh, that I keep for my broth now has a little bit more stuff in it. These are the frozen bananas. I used more than half of this one. I used some of the peas. I used some of this frozen paprika. Uh, but I still have like this frozen uh, uh, green beans as well. And like this is still quite full. But I definitely use many things from here. And uh, here, this is just ice. I, I used most of these for the for the soup, and here it's empty. This is just my biodegradable trash frozen in here until this bag gets full, and then I will bring it down to the collection point. And here I have some leftover of the banana ice cream that I made yesterday. I finished one bag of bread, and I have still a little in here. I finished one of the frost while well, it's in the fridge. I still have some frozen strawberries, no, uh, raspberries, and I still have some frozen uh, blueberries. But overall, yeah, and I have some frozen walnuts as well, but overall, yeah, it's definitely emptier than it was at the beginning of last week. So practically this was uh, the freezer fridge and pantry challenge uh, for the beginning of January. I went uh, 10 days without going to the grocery store um, because, well, nine, nine days in January. This is uh, January the 10th and I went today. I could, uh, I could still do low buy or, or low spend on groceries since I still have quite a full pantry. I just was not able to make full meals out of what I had and not be very creative with them or I should have been more creative, I guess. Um, but I will try to continue to use up the things that I have and, I, and only get like fresh produce from now on and some like things on the side. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you did anything like this, a challenge like this, and if you liked how I did it. Any suggestions are very welcome uh, regarding uh, saving food waste. I have some tricks that I didn't use this week, <laughs> I guess. But um, yeah, I'm glad that I was able to do a no spend on groceries for this long. Then, until my next video, bye-bye.